In this example, we want to create this uh, counter down timer with a cloner, some spline text, and a spline effector and a delay effector. You can add any number that you want. Okay, this is first lesson for uh, first tutorial for giving example about uh, cloner. The series is called uh, McGrath example and idea. I give you a, not, a, a lots of example to combine the tools and the effectors and all the things in McGrath. In the first example, I want to create countdown a timer three, two, one. Okay, for that. I give you a uh, text. You can go with 3D or in this case, I needed uh, <clears throat> 2D. Uh, okay, first I type three here. You can make it a three or you can go into the middle uh, and call it three. Then hold control, drag, control, click and drag. Type it two, type it to one and then go to the text type two and yeah here is a one and as you can see we have any counter that you want here and i want to clone clone uh, uh object for example a sphere on it and make it a smaller and use a cloner to this sphere and now in a cloner i make it the object the first object that i want to clone on that is a tree text <clears throat> and in a distribution make it even and turn the number the higher number nice and i want to this spline transfer to the data spline and we don't need to change the uh, mugraph object okay for doing that we need uh, a effector that i explained before spline effector if you don't select the cloner, pay attention in the effectors, you have to click and drag this spline here. But we need to spline, a spline to transfer the cloner object from three to two, and another spline effector transfer the objects on uh, spline number two to one. So we need two of them. This is spline called uh, three to two. In a, this spline effector two, two one okay the order of them in a cloner effector is very important first execute three to two then go execute uh, two to one <clears throat> okay now we are going to the spline two in a tree and in a effector you have to assign a spline here Okay, which is line number two. And as we can see, in transfer to the number two. And in this example, we want to animate the strengths of that. And as you can see, transfer to the one. Okay, first, we uh, change the strengths to <clears throat> uh, zero and animate it. Then go, for example, frame 10 and make the strengths that's 100 percent and in this case it's transferred three to two for better animating you can go to the yeah it's a instant mode it's a, or you can make it instant that's nice and in a, another spline we need to transfer two to one i make it one and as you can see it turned to one okay uh because this strength is in this case is 100% it means it's go to the one and after that in um, in here you have to go to this spline first turn it to zero it means okay you go to the three to one and now from this moment we want to make it a zero percent because I want to to stay as some frame and after that for example in this frame uh, it's you can make it 100 percent and go to the one you have to play uh, with the you can select both of them and as you can see the keyframes are here so what happened uh the first uh, in the first 
we have uh, in a spline three to two uh, zero strings. It means okay, the first cloner is on a tree, and after that you can go go to the ten frame. And as you can see, the strings is uh, increasing and going to the one hundred percent. And in this case, if it isn't one hundred percent, it's okay. And then, as you can see, we have a uh, spline number two. If it is in a 100%, it means it's stay in a one. So, first, we need uh, from zero here, and then a strength go to the 100% that you can see two go into the one. You can play with the strings. And now we can one, two, three. Nice. You can go and uh, click on this and open <clears throat> you can select all of the uh, key keyframes here and make them a step and yeah as you can see we have a better uh, counting down making a step uh, that's it and you can select the cloner and go into the mugraph effector you can add a delay in a delay I like it better than a spring and select it. Ding, ding. Interesting. Or a little delay. Yeah. Nice. So, in this session, you learn how to use the spline. As you can see, the uh, in a parameter, the position, rotation, uh, these are important. The position and rotation is important here. Turn on. You learn to how to use a spline effector to transfer the cloner object that is in an object and don't forget uh, the hierarchy in an effector. This is execute first, then go to the spline and then uh, delay uh, above all of them. You can change the, the hierarchy and see the effects. And as you can see, it does not execute because it was execute the delay and what uh, object do you want to delay? So. You have to do your all of effector and the delay effector affect all of the mm, effector about that. And you can see the result. So the hierarchy is very important. First, two, three to two spline effector, then two to one. And after that, the results will be delay. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release